welcome back to that dad guy it's july 16th 2023 today's the day i'm gonna write some postcards so i've got some official ones that i've got to write for post crossing and i've got some direct swaps i'm gonna to respond to i've even got one new person that has asked to do a direct swap so i've got that person to respond to as well uh, so i thought i'd show you some of the cards i'm going to send out uh, outside it is still kind of muggy it's 24 feels like 32 with the humidity we did have some rain not too long ago uh, i think more of a sun shower than anything just a burst to try to cool it off just a little bit uh, it's dry again right now which is great for the buskers that are happening downtown this is the last day for them so hopefully they get uh, some nice weather and the crowd still come out and uh, cheer them on and give them the tips that they require and uh, make this just an all-around successful busker, busker festival and if you haven't seen my video on it you can go back and check it out it was a lot of fun went to it on friday um yeah let's get into it after you subscribe like and comment and uh share with other people that's how we're growing this channel all right, let's start with the official ones. My first card I have going out is going to Germany. Uh, this gentleman lives in a small town. He likes cards that uh, don't come in envelopes. Uh, he says, if you do want to send a card in an envelope, please don't write on it. Well, for me, uh, if I'm sending you a card, I'm writing on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, I prefer not to get mine in envelopes too, because then you get the stamp on it, you get the cancellation. It's the complete package. What he likes are crowd cards of uh, towns or villages, uh, tourist postcards, landscapes of your home, famous buildings of your home, castles in your home if there's any, post-crossing meetup cards, map cards, chronicle cards from Germany, um, cats, wombats, blue cat cards, yeah, a whole bunch of different ones. And he says, if you speak German, I'd be happy if you would also write in German. Uh, I can't, so I won't be. Uh, so you'll get it in English. Uh, I went with this. This is a meetup card from last year. But now we just recently had a meetup and you probably will see some of those cards in this video too. But this is one of last year's meetup cards that we had. Um, he likes meetups. It's uh, The Rocks, which is our famous tourist attraction here. So hopefully he enjoys it. All right. The next card I have is going to Switzerland. And uh, she loves to write letters, postcards and receive them. She also loves to travel, she loves to sing, she loves plants, reading, writing, loves music such as country, punk, Swiss music, and Italian music. She is happy about every postcard she receives from around the world. Her birth date is April the 6th. That's the same as my son's birthday, so that's kind of cool. So if you want to send a birthday card at that point in time, you can to her. This is what she says. Uh, other things that she likes are uh, knowing what your favorite musicians or songs are. So you can write about that cards she likes to receive are things about your village or your city, castles, but no paintings, uh, Luke Bryant, the musician, American country music musicians, Elvis Presley, USA, national parks, old Disney movies, Uganda, uh, Italy, Ireland, children's carousels, the Titanic, famous people, old VW buses, old American cars or others, uh, generally old cars in general, tourist cards with city views, country flags, uh, and goes on and on. So lots of different things in there she also likes uh old stamps write more than just happy post crossing if you don't know what to write write about your pets your village your country uh your visited country your favorite movie singers artists write about your favorite recipe so there's all sorts of things that one can write about other than happy post crossing and i agree with that she likes vintage cards i'm gonna send her this one this is from expo 867 uh, in canada and uh this is the automotive stadium which was sponsored by the american motors uh, Chrysler, Ford, General Motors, and Volvo. The 25,000 seat stadium will be the scene of many spectacular presentations, or it was the scene because it was almost 60 years ago. So there's a vintage card. It's got automotive in it, and uh, that's what she said she was interested in. So hopefully she will. Uh, it's one that I've had for a little while now, and uh, I think that's the right person to send it to. All right, the next card I have is going off to Taiwan. Uh, his name is David. He likes watching Jap Japanese anime, read it. Uh, he's currently studying Japanese at the department in his university. Uh, also likes uh, VTuber and v Vocaloid, which I assume are anime shows. Uh, you can tell me what your favorite Japanese or anime. I don't have any. Uh, the closest thing I had was Robotech growing up. And uh, I don't know if that's considered. I guess it's kind of an anime. So, yeah. If you watch Robotech, leave me a comment. Let's see who else is out there that knows all about the Macross saga. Uh, he really enjoys opening uh, envelopes, so you can also send your card in an envelope. Of course, it's okay if you don't want to. 
he says he's not picky no matter what kind of postcard is available would be very happy with and then he goes into a whole bunch of anime things things from japan um mostly japanese things other than there's uh the queen elizabeth ii cards or the 2023 rabbit stamps are always welcome so the year of the rabbit and uh if you can write in japanese write in japanese because that's what he's interested in i can't write in japanese but what i will do is send you this anime card that i got from jilly b it has like a tearaway portion at the bottom too so i can write on the back put the address and the stamp here and then he can have this as a souvenir if he wants on the side so hopefully that fits the bill and there is some japanese writing on the back so he can translate it if he wishes with the practice all right the next one i have is going to uh, the united states going to maryland um, she is a software developer recently moved to seattle from the east coast but she must be back in the east coast again because uh, her address is showing maryland not uh, in uh, in oregon or in washington uh, any postcards are welcome, but she prefers beautiful landscapes, nature, cars, planes, trains, cute animals, city, and tourist pictures. Uh, please write a message on your card if you need any uh, writing inspirations. What are your hobbies? What are you looking forward to? What's your favorite song or quote, TV show, movie? What fun fact about where you live? If you speak Spanish, feel free to write in Spanish. Also like stickers and stamps. So, yeah. I'm going to send this one. She says she likes trains. This is the, the Canadian Pacific. There are a couple rail cars that are here, a uh, train in Bristol and Carlton County. And they're not running anymore, but it's a tourist area if you want to go have a look at them. So I thought I would send that. If she's uh, interested in trains and uh, had a connection to the West Coast for a short period of time, we'll have the West Coast train. All right. My next card is going to Serbia. I don't, haven't had too many cards that I've had a chance to send to Serbia, so I'm glad to be able to do this one for her. Um, she lives in Belgrade. She's a scientist with a PhD with a biologi biological science. So science is her big passion. She likes traveling, exploring different cultures, traditions, and meeting new people. She loves archaeology, history, mythology, and legends. Loves Middle Earth. Big fan of nature, different natural sites of interest, and especially cave lover. I think she'd get along well with Renee if they had a connection there. So I love postcards in general, so feel free to send anything you find representative of your place or country. If you have something related to women in science, though, uh, she would really like that. So I did. I do. I had this card here. And I'll read it to you. It's Hedy Lemire. Uh, she's an inventor and film actress. Uh, her quote is, My father made me understand that I must make my own decisions, mold my own character, think my own thoughts. Hedy Lamar. So there we go. We're going to send that card off to Serbia. The last official card I have for Post Crossing is going to Australia, which is another country I don't get very often to send to, so I'm glad to send to it. Uh, she lives with her husband in Melbourne. She enjoys receiving any kind of postcard. She's okay with dark humor, offensive advertisement postcards. If the postcard is in another language, that's fine. Just let me know what it says. Do include your address if you'd like a return postcard. Her hobbies include photography, jewelry making, as well as baking and cooking. So West recipe cards are also welcome. Trying to grow my own herbs and vegetables in her mini backyard. It says, please be kind and happy. Happy post-crossing. So yeah, I think you should always be kind when you're post-crossing. We're all in this for a, as a hobby, so nobody wants a criticism coming randomly from a stranger. So I didn't have any dark humor or anything like that. I had this smoking advertisement of Lucky Strikes for quite some time now. Um, she just likes advertisement cards. And... Maybe she likes smoking. I don't know. Smoking is kind of a, a gone by thing most places now. You have vapors, you have uh, people that smoke mar marijuana and things. But smoking regular cigarettes does not seem to be as in fashion now, thankfully, as it once was. So there's some old time advertisement for her. All right, that is it for my official post crossing ones. Now let me show you a few of the, uh, of the direct swap ones I'm going to send out. I'm going to send this one here. It's another one of those same cards that I got from Jilly B. It's just some uh, cute kawaii, I guess, um, postcard. And another one here. We're going to send these all out this week. I have this meetup card from last year's Nova Scotia meetup. That's Peggy's Cove being pictured there. I have this 
Coke advertisement card that's going out. Santa Claus is at Coke. Uh, you kind of think of that advertisement when it comes to Christmas time. I have this fairy card. Now this is a very special fairy card because this is the MS Chichu Chichimon, which has recently been depicted as one of the five fairy stamps that got issued this past week. I did a video on that on Wednesday. So uh, I didn't even know I had this card until I was going through my collection today, picking things, seeing what would fit for the right people. And when I saw it, I thought, okay, that one's got to go. I have these cute otter puppies that's going to go out this week. And I have, finally, post-crossing meetup cards from the GeoCrack. See all the amount that I'm going to send? Rather than go through and show you each one that uh, <laughs> looks exactly the same, I'm sending a bunch of these out. I sent a bunch out last week, too. I, probably by next week, I may have sent every one of the ones that I purchased, so, which is a big difference from last year. Last year, uh, all the meetup cards, I bought a ton of them. And I still have a ton of them left over. So I think I sent most of the uh, official stamped ones out. But I bought extra ones that hadn't been stamped. Just to have them thinking that everybody likes meetup cards. Or a lot, large portion do. And uh, I think I overdid it. I think I bought too many of them. So I still have a lot. You know? And I mean a lot. Let me give you an example here. Last year we had meetups in Nova Scotia. Uh, Prince Edward Islands. And New Brunswick. And then this year we had one in Newfoundland. I wasn't able to go to the Newfoundland one, but this is what I have. I'm just trying to separate them here. I do have some Newfoundland cards to send because I got them, even though, because I wanted to represent the land of Canada. But yeah, I've got all these meetup cards left. These are New Brunswick. There's Nova Scotia. There's Prince Edward Islands. So I have all those left over from last year. And then this year there was a meetup in Newfoundland that I got from Sophia. So these were the two. Oh, there's a new runs are running there too. This style and this style were the two meetup cards this year for Newfoundland. So I'll have those to send out for people that want some Newfoundland meetup cards. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to start trying to work on some of those. But I bought a lot of extra, <laughs> as you can see. Well, I guess I got some writing to do, so I better get to doing that, decorating these cards, and uh, yeah, I got some things that I ordered too. I was thinking one of them might be in, in time for me to show you today, but I'll have to wait for another video for that. Um, something new I wanted to try based on any of you who have seen my handwriting. Hopefully this will help. Anyways, have a magical week. Like, follow? You say like, subscribe, share, and tell all your friends. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Bye.